Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this weaving pattern using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. So, let's get started. Okay, so before we start, we need a new document. For that, we go to File, New. I'm going to use my usual 18, 1920 by 1080, but you can use any kind of uh, dimensions or layout that you want. Just only make sure that you have transparent background tick off. And I'm going to double click to select it. By the way, like always, if I right click, it's green. If I left click, it's red. And any key combination, you'll see it here at the bottom left of the screen. So before we continue, just make sure that you have selected or more or less my the same kind of settings that I got. So if we go to view, make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Good. With that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select my square rectangle tool i'm going to click and drag don't worry we are going to change these dimensions now now the most important thing of these kind of squares is that actually is twice in one in one direction than the other one what i'm trying to say is for example if my width is let's say if we come here to transform if i come here and i select 60 pixels width and my height is going to be 120. So it's basically twice. I'm going to click on this link. So if I made any modification on the width, it will be the same uh, on the height. Perfect. Now that I have that one like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before we do this, I'm going to create some lines to give it like kind of uh, like a pattern there. So I'm not going to make it. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, let me put it on the center there. So let's get started something like this. I'm going to let me see what well, I think a one pixel would be fine. Let's make it two pixels much better. Uh, and then I'm going to put it in there. Then I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag, and I'm going to put it more or less in there. Then Alt J, sorry, Command J a few times. Uh, I think one more. Mm, no, those ones are fine. And I'm coming here to my layers, and I'm going to click and drag and select everything. Let's go to at the top to uh, the alignment tool. I click in there and I center. Let me let me put them all like that. And I'm going to click apply. So with this one like this, I'm coming to the top menu, select layers, expand stroke, and then I'm going to add. So now this is just one uh, shape. So I can actually make it like this let's make it like this click and drag and select everything and let's make sure that everything is center and now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this one day and i'm going to click on the fill let's go to gradient i'm going to uh, double click in there so i got another one position 50 percent so we are sure that we are in the middle so this one i'm going to select it completely black, the same like that one there, completely black and make sure that that one there is pure white and then uh, middle point, let's move it, uh, I think it's 60 will be fine and if I click in this one it's going to be 30. So it's from each side the same thing. And then I'm going to come in here to my tools and I'm going to select my fill tool and I'm going to click this one and drag it right in the middle and this one uh, there in the middle. I think we are perfect there. That's fantastic. Now I'm going to take these curves there and I'm going to put a little bit of Gaussian blur. Uh, I think it's something like that it will be more than enough I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to um, command 
G to create a group. And I'm going to repeat something similar. I'm going to create something like this. And let me see. Let's put no stroke. And this one, we are going to change it a little bit. But this one then, let me... This one is going to be 120 by 60. So basically, we have one vertical and one horizontal one. And let's make some lines in here. But these lines, I'm going to make them... Hold a second. Uh, I think a little bit thicker. Maybe something like that is fine. Why is doing this? Let me delete that and do it again. And I hold shift, click and drag, escape. So yeah, and this one I'm going to make a fewer ones. I think Alt D. Let me see. Uh, Command J. I think it like that will be fine. I'm going to select them all. Perfect. Align. So I'm going to choose uh, align to the left. Apply. And we can make them a little bit there and a little bit there. Something that we can do if we come here to stroke, I'm going to choose like that. So this square is flat. And what else? Yes, uh, layer, expand stroke, uh, on geometry, add. So now we have it as a one little thing there. And then I'm going to select my rectangle and come in here to my fill tool. I'm going to now make it horizontal. So it should be the, the middle, it should be more or less in the middle. It's fine. So perfect. So now I'm going to click and drag and Command G to generate one. Good. So now that we have this, we need to start making the pattern. And for that, uh, let me see alignment, how it works. I had some problems in the past with the alignment. Something like this is fine. So now I'm holding Alt, click and drag to select another one, another one, and another one. So you get the idea how to do it. Sorry. I'm going to make it like this, like this, like this, and like this. I think we are fine for a pattern there. Now, to align these ones, it could be a little bit complicated. So, let me see. It has to end up perfect, because if not, then you will see then the patterns is going to start actually not aligning. And as you can see in here, Okay, that one is fine. Okay, we are fine in there. Okay, we are not fine in there. I think we are not fine. And okay, let me see. Let, we will see later on. Uh, when you create one or two of these tiles, and uh, like similar to what we did in the patterns in the previous videos, uh, you'll see that actually if something is not perfectly aligned, you will have a problem later on. Uh, so if I put that one there. Okay, this should be fine. And let me see, I'm going to put this one in there. It should be fine. And this one in there. And also we should be, we should be fine. So let me see if I come here and I create a rectangle like this. First of all, let's get rid of that and the fill. Let's make it uh, one color. Let's make it red just only for us to see. And so they will, should be fine. They should be fine. They should be fine there. And we should be fine there. No, look at that is actually in there and actually in there is fine and this one i'm not entirely convinced but anyway let's click in there click in there select all those ones command g and let's make a mask so now you'll see if something is not aligned and i think it's not aligned perfectly in here 
when you make this, you see, let me see there, yeah, we are perfect. So that is the way that you have to see if it's aligned properly or not. To make the copy, remember to hit com uh, Alt or Option, uh, and this one should be there. Are we fine there? Yeah, I think we are, we are fine. Yeah, perfect. So now it's like a, any other pattern, you just need to um, repeat this. If you want to use it in, for example, um, a website or something like that, with one tile is more than enough, and then you have that repeat function in many of the... Uh, if you are using uh, WordPress or something like that, you should be fine. If not, you have the HTML repeat. So let's put another one there and another one there. Perfect. I'm going to click and drag. You can make them any size you like. Uh, command G and then Command J, Command J, just only to uh, avoid or fill up the gaps in between. So, yeah, I think uh, that's it for this video. Um, like always, first of all, thank you very much for all my subscribers. I think we passed the 500 subscribers up for today. And thank you very much for uh, to everybody who actually subscribed to my channel. It means a lot, a lot to me. Um, it helped me to keep going and doing these videos. Any comments, please leave them in the section down below. Thank you very much for watching. And like always, I'm seeing you in the next video.